right, guys, I found a few very interesting alien abduction cases I wanted to share with you. A couple of them, I've, I've watched documentaries in the past, but I think one of them I, I've really never heard of, and we'll talk about it at the end. So let me go ahead and read this, okay? It was an orb of light, he said, okay? Just a big ball of light. It wasn't moving. One was solid white. The other one was directly across the road, up about 300 feet above ground. It was changing colors very rapidly. He says, quote, this is not usual. Something is wrong. Maybe I'm in over my head. I shouldn't be looking at this stuff. His name was Copeland. He was a Marine. Okay, I'm reading this article. Uh, said he drove a forklift, works at a warehouse, all that good stuff. Right. Okay, now, it says, but after the video of what Copeland said he witnessed in the sky uh, was posted on YouTube, he had a strange visitor come to his front door. Okay, so let me kind of put that into context. He witnessed the UFO. He goes home. Okay, he saw the video on YouTube. I guess someone else put it on YouTube. They don't really clarify. I wish they did. Did he post the video? Did somebody else put the video? I don't know. Okay, somebody put it on YouTube. Okay, so he said he had a visitor come to the front door. He said, I woke up from a nap by the sound of someone trying to enter my apartment. Okay, somebody trying to break in, he said. Uh, and he said, who is it? There was no answer. He said, you know, you can see the doorknob moving, a scratching at the door. And he said, I keep a firearm. So the dude keeps a gun. Okay, he said it was up on my table and I thought, or and my thought was to get up and check. I was in, I was in complete paralysis. The only thing I could move were my eyes. And I heard a voice through the door say, you don't need that weapon. We won't harm you. I mean, how crazy is that? Imagine you're standing there in your living room looking at the front door. You're completely paralyzed. The only thing you can move is your eyes. You're looking at a gun on the table and you hear someone say through the door as if they can see through the front door, you don't need that weapon. We will not harm you. He goes on to say days later started experiencing what he calls a missing time during a span of two nights. Copeland said he missed four hours, not as a result of sleep. Okay, he goes on to say, when you see these objects and then do the research and you see that there are so many people who have experienced the same thing, you have to say to yourself, maybe there is something out there. Okay, crazy, right? And then they talk about he, he started to make sketchings and drawings of what he witnessed during the missing time. He said, I was in my living room and I saw a woman who did not have complete human features. He recalled from the night. He, re he recalled from the night he said he was abducted in 2006. Uh, she had the typical black eyes that you hear about. She had an elongated skull, and that startled me. And the next memory I have is me, sta is me standing on my balcony waving at the cylinder-shaped sh uh, ship. I mean, how crazy is that? You know, elongated skull, big black eyes, missing time. But then he remembers like waving like, bye UFO, see you later. You know, crazy, right? Okay, he goes on to say uh, that it basically changed him as a person. He said, I want to become a better person because I feel if someone from above took notice of me, then maybe I'm doing something right. And if I'm doing something right, maybe I can do it better, as he went on to say. Now, let's move on. Okay, this is another girl. As a single working mother has been reluctant to talk about her close encounters with aliens. I'm not necessarily fearful, she said. I'm a bit nervous about people and how they may react. Okay, I do believe that I have experienced contact with non-human intelligence. She has videos and scars to prove it. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look for these videos. Uh, I've made uh, I have I've had multiple witness sightings or experiences, but also marks that would show up on my body, scars like the one on my finger. I did wake up one time with with three diagonal lines. Crazy, right? Let me let me rewind this video for you guys real quick. Just want to give you guys a little bit of something to look at while I'm talking here. Look, I, and I love sharing this because I like to hear your feedback. So leave a comment below. How do you feel about alien abductions? We're going to talk about it, you know, at the bottom of the video. Okay. She goes on to say, I've woken up with handprints and fingerprints that I couldn't have made myself and nobody could have made. 
I don't believe I was taken against my will, she said. I believe that all my life uh, I've been prepared to share information, to experience information and contact with non-human intelligence. I don't want to go into much detail on certain kinds of beings that I saw because of the graphic nature and some of the things that she witnessed. She tends, uh, she tends to be similar, or sorry, what tends to be similar is they come in the night. Okay, and, and that's very true. Most alien abduction cases I've looked into, it's always at night, always. And I think, you know, why I think that's because they can travel, you know, unnoticed, right? Okay, then they take you someplace. You're in a spaceship. The aliens tend to look the same, which is a sort of greenish triangular head, big eyes, and they perform medical or sexual experiments on you. Okay, next case. Here we go. A Brazilian farmer who was working at night because it was too hot to work during the day, he saw a red star in the sky. As the, as the light grew larger, he tried to drive away in his tractor, but it died. Uh, he then tried running away when he was accosted by four humanoid creatures that dragged him into the now landed craft. They, they took his clothes off covered him with a weird gel, then they took blood samples. Okay, this is where things get weird, okay? A female humanoid ca uh, creature appeared. Okay, so he's been abdu abducted, he's on the craft, a female humanoid creature appeared, and they had sex, right? <laughs> Some hand motions followed that what he took to mean he had impregnated the creature and that she was going to leave. Okay, it says the alien, uh, the alien being would have the child and raise it wherever she was from. Then they gave him a tour of the spaceship before dropping him off. Oh, crap, my battery's dying. I'll try to close it out here. Okay, uh, so yeah, they basically had sex. She said she was, you know, kind of like, I guess, notion to him that, like, I'm pregnant now. They give him a tour of the craft and they take off. Okay, it goes on to say he went on to become a lawyer, you know, and have a family, you know, basically giving you a little bit of his, I don't know, background so you don't think he's crazy, but, you know, whatever. Okay, and also the, the Pascagoula River case, I'm sure you guys know, 1973, two co-workers were fishing off a pier, a uh, UFO, well, first they saw blue flashing lights, a UFO appeared, three humanoid creatures dragged them on board inside the craft, they were examined for about 20 minutes. Uh, before being levitated back to the pier, like being like beamed up and shot back down. Now, I want to. The reason I mention that is because apparently a new witness has come forward. Now, I'm a little bit bit skeptical about the new witness because there's a book coming out, and anytime there's money tied to it, I, I do kind of question it. So, you know. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. Just a quick one, and uh, you know, I want to hear what you think. Do you believe in alien abductions? Do you have your own your own story, your own your own case? I do. I told you guys when I was 12 years old, I was I mean, I look, I know it sounds crazy, but I was visited by I don't know what it is, some type of entity, some alien, some being was hovering above my bed. Okay, it was like this electrical field of energy. I could feel it in the air and I reached out and touched it, developed like mental issues and uh, OCD, all kinds of things. And I've talked about it in another video, but I'm gonna make a part two to that video going into detail. So all right guys, a quick one tonight, leave it below.